Ladies and gentlemen, finally it is here, the new GD4 RS. The new GT4 RS has a 500 horsepower engine directly from the GT3. It revs up to 9,000 RPM. It has a dry sump lubrication. It has a rigid valve train. It has all the features a race car's engine has, and it's such a pleasure to drive in that car. Next thing, let's look at the aerodynamics. The car is RS. RS means REN Sport. So it's a car for the track, but it's a car for pleasure driving as well. It is so much fun on the street and it's very capable on the racetrack. Look at the aerodynamics. The car has a lot more downforce than its little brother, the GT4. You can see it on the front wing, which is protruding a little bit more. There's more air coming out of the rear side of the cooler. We have this new front fenders made of carbon fiber uh, that extract the air out of the wheel wells. We have additional brake cooling through the nectar ducts in the carbon fiber hood. We have a new wing which is supported on the swan neck supports like we do on the race cars, like we have it on the GT3 models. It's a very efficient method of putting a wing on a car which produces more downforce and gives us a better aerodynamical balance. This is accompanied by a diffuser underneath the car and a new underbody which help the stream velocity to be as quick as possible on the backside to produce additional downforce. And here we have another feature that hasn't been there on the 718 platform so far. This is the air intake for the GT3 engine that is supported in the middle of the car. All the process air enters here and goes through ducts to a visible intake system that is right behind the driver's ears and that makes a great sound, I can tell you. Here you can see the ducts from the outside directly to the air filter element which is placed here and this is a whole new bespoke system especially developed for the GT4S. This is something new to this model line and it is something very, very emotional. A lot of changes on the suspension as well. Spherical ball joints on all joints here. We have magnesium wheels for the Weissach package and forged aluminum wheels for the normal version. We have bigger brakes. We have the four tenths and three 90 millimeters uh, optional Porsche ceramic discs. And we have a 408 millimeter all new steel disc for the standard model. We have new dampers on this car, Torta springs and a new geometry as well. The car has an adjustable suspension, so you can change the camber, you can change toe in, you can change the right height in order to get the best corner weighting out of the car to make it a stable experience. We have ultra high performance tires, Michelin Cup 2s and Dunlops, and for the first time we offer Michelin Cup 2R race tire version for extended track use that gives the best track times on this car. If we just have a look at the interior, for the first time we use Racetex material on the upper part of the dashboard, which gives it a very classy and racy look. We have carbon fiber trim, we have the Weissach package insignia and we have a very lightweight roll cage made of titanium. But you know what I like best about this car? It's the engine sound, it's the emotion, it's incredible the experience you get when you drive that thing. That's the most spectacular 718 I've ever seen. The new 718 came in GD4 RS. What a thing of beauty. Absolutely. A mid-engine powered real action hero. Everything done for, the, for a driver's car and that will de it's designed to really put a big smile on your face. And regardless if you go on country roads on a Sunday morning or a racetrack. Yeah, well, I know it's not easy to get the RS badge. 
run me through some of the key performance items on the chassis side of the new car. Happily, where do you want to start? Handling and precision. Well, yeah, I like corners. You know, uh, they're uh, <laughs> That's pretty what I emotional. Yeah. Well, handling and precision is extremely important for these RS batched uh, cars. So we lower the center of gravity by another 30 mil with our Porsche Active Suspension Management. And the car got a special setup, springs, dampers, roll bars, and also the bearings, so the typical RS components we put in, and uh, that gives you really very, very good control over the car. I know some of that stuff's on uh, our GT race cars. We know at Porsche, we really pride ourselves on the transfer technology. The winning on Sunday does go really into the street cars on, on Monday, so that's still alive, right? The transfer technology is well and truly alive for us. Yeah, absolutely, you know how it goes. And, and this is why we also need guys like you that really guinea pig all the ideas from the engineers and, and then to make a, a proper selection of what is really useful, what we can bring um, and what will survive from the racetrack to the streetcar and then we bring it in production. I think every customer, every driver can feel exactly this. Well, thanks, Frank. That's the, the chassis side done. Now let's have a chat about the soul of the car. Let's talk about the engine. What have we done there? Yeah, now we can reveal the secret. First of all, pure race engine. This is the GT3 engine, the same one we are using in the 911 GT3 Cup and the street legal 911 GT3. Not a detuned engine, it's the bespoke four liter, six cylinder beast, I would say. We worked for sure on the engine management and to bring the air in the engine and everything. The airflow as a result has to go through the cabin and this makes and creates something very, very special. Sounds phenomenal. Uh, give me some numbers. What sort of power are we talking? Yeah, 500 horses. That makes the GT4 RS the most powerful 718 we have ever built. Well, Frank, it's uh, connected to the seven-speed PDK, right? Yeah, every GT car with an RS badge comes with PDK only. That's our best and quickest gearbox. We have to handle 450 Newton meters and it's revving up to 9,000 RPM. Phenomenal. So what does that do for our, you know, zero to 100 and our, uh, what does she, what does she top out at? Well, the, the big figures are zero to 100 is 3.4 seconds. And the top speed is 315 kilometers per hour. So, well, pretty impressive, I would say. Super impressive, yeah. Do you want to know what else is impressive? What else we got, mate? I mean, we're running out of tricks, aren't we? <laughs> Listen on this. Hallelujah. Holy cow, mate. That's a roar. That sounds absolutely magnificent. We take weight very seriously at Porsche. Uh, what does she weigh in it? Yeah, you're definitely right. Weight management is, is definitely a science for itself. And um, we have been able to put and replace some of the already light parts of the GT4 um, to even lighter parts with different technology. And so we come down to a weight of 1,415 kilograms. Phenomenal. That's a cracking effort, I must say. Uh, so materials, what have we used? Uh, what's been our go-to material to try and shave some of those key uh, pounds off? Well, racing technology means in many, many times um, it's carbon fiber technology. And for the front uh, hood and for the front fender and also for the massive rear wing, um, we are using carbon fiber, um, very, very light, very stiff, lightweight glassing in the, in the rear of the car, um, exhaust system with a, with a lightweight steel um, design. And if you opt for the Weissach package, you can also have magnesium wheels. We have also gone to stickers, you know, yeah, to save even sure. a few more grams. For sure. In, in the end of the day, everything adds up. So Frank, basically what you're telling us is the GD4 RS is a street legal race car. And the uh, opportunity to have these beautiful swan neck rear wing mounts, uh, the, the knacker ducks. I mean, when you drive this car quickly, we've got awesome brake cooling, which is from our GT friends from the racetrack, right? Yeah, exactly. And like in motorsports, all these elements are purely functional. It's not a show or to, to show something. It's, it's all about functionality and increasing the aerodynamics. Numbers, aero numbers. Tell us about how we've made this car such a the grip in the corners, but then the efficiencies on the straight. Yeah, well, with this RS-specific rear wing, we have the splitter for sure in front to keep the car in balance. Um, the underfloor aerodynamics that pays a lot. Um, in it, and so we could increase the total level of downforce if you're using the car on a close racetrack by 25%. Extraordinary. Porsche never shies away from a big challenge, and we go to the toughest venues in the world. Uh, Nürburgring, the Nordschleife, we love to test the components there and the cars. What lap time are we talking? For sure the Nürburgring, and I'll show you something.
What an amazing time there, Frank. That was extraordinary. But talking about time, we have another little, nice little piece there that can link us to the oh, customer yeah. and the car. That's uh, one of the latest creations from uh, Porsche Design. Really a nice piece and it fits perfect to the exterior interior colors and it's exclusively only for GT4 RS customers. Good stuff. Let's go back to Nürburgring. Run us through the day, sort of the, how, how the, the time compared to sort of other experiences we've had there. Is look, they, they shaved off 23 seconds of the lap time of the 718 GT4. That was really astonishing. And the team and Jörg Bergmeister was the driver. They, they had, they, they nailed down the perfect lap. Really huge congratulations. And it was not, I'll be honest, it was not expected to be so good. Well, knowing his big smile, I'm sure he's still yeah. got it now, Jorgi. <laughs> yeah. But Frank, um, it's not the end of the road for us, right, with this car? No, absolutely not. For those of us who love it even more raw and undiluted, uh, we have the GT4 RS Club Sport. Um, that's the car for our racing customers. Awesome. So it's basically going to be used for uh, multiple series around the world. Uh, it's uh, stripped out the bare minimum. Uh, whenever you put the fireproof overalls on, you're going to be have in there with the roll cage. You're going to have the racing seat. You're going to have the racing steering wheel. So full track machine. And also with better handling and better performance if I compare it to the predecessor. That made the GT4 category so popular all over the world. And in other words, that's the car for you, Mark. What a car, right up my alley. It was so good to talk to Frank about that and I'm looking forward to driving it more in the future. But what I'm really interested in also is to see how that really you know, talks to our sustainability uh, topics that Oliver was talking about before. Let me give you an answer, Mark. Um, our race car, the GT4 RS Club Sport, is a low volume car. And for us, that is a perfect playground for developing new technologies. What technologies, for example, are we talking about? Yeah, for example, um, the renewable fibers we use for lightweight um, for this car um, is a perf perfect example. Like the Mission R? Exactly. And this is a car which will come to a customer cup racing as well. And in the future, great opportunities to test uh, e-fuels as well. Also, we are testing e-fuels in motorsport and our idea is to use them for first filling in the factory or in testing or in our Porsche experience centers. Yep, mm -hmm. and we could just continuously have that learning curve from winning on Sundays, the transfer of technology from the racetracks onto the, onto the streetcars. Any chance of a key? Of course, enjoy the ride. Yes. Incredible day for me. My mind has been blown again. Uh, we continue to deliver. Uh, thanks for the invite, and I must say I've pretty much got the best job in the world. So it's been it's been special. It has been a great pleasure having you here, Mark. Uh, fantastic cars indeed, very different, but 100% sports cars. That's a Porsche way. 100% agree. Looking forward to seeing you next time.